Wellness for Life is brought to you by Purim Physical Therapy, Gottenberg Chiropractic Clinic, and Mojave Ottawa Community Action Partnership. Hello, I'm Matt Koffenberg, physical therapist and owner of Purim Physical Therapy. Now, I've been a physical therapist for 18 years and I've had the privilege to work with many, many people from all walks of life, um, people with back pain, knee pain, hip pain, young and old. And one thing that inevitably we talk about is the importance of exercise. You know, I'm here to tell you today that exercise in general is just really, really good for you. There was a research paper um, done in 2002 uh, by McGinnis and others, uh, and they talked in general about uh, what, it, what does it mean to be healthy and what is your overall picture of health? What, what allows you to be healthy? In that particular paper, um, they said that about 20% of our overall health comes from just our genetics. It comes from our makeup, our DNA. Uh, another 20% of our overall health comes from the doctors that we visit and the medicines that we're provided. Uh, and then an overwhelming majority, 60% of our overall health comes from our activity. Uh, it comes from our exercise. It comes from our diet. So again, I'm here to tell you that exercise is good for you. Think of it another way. Um, what drug out there can you be given that would help your cardiac system, that would help your brain function, that would help your neurologic system, that would help your musculoskeletal system, that would help your immune system, that would help your kidney function, that could potentially prevent cancer, that um, can help with pain control. What one drug out there can do all of that? There isn't one. But I'm here to tell you that exercise does all of that. So again, exercise is good for you. So what does it mean to exercise? Well, there's four components to exercise that we talk about. There's an aerobic component, which is our cardiovascular fitness. There's a strength component to exercise. There is a mobility component, or some people will call it flexibility component to exercise. And then finally, there's a balance component to exercise. Now, fortunately, we have um, some really great research that's been done that kind of tells us how much exercise we should do. Um, there is the American College of Sports Medicine that's really kind of on, on the forefront of telling us um, how much exercise we should do. And, and according to the uh, ACSM or the American College of Sports Medicine, when it comes to aerobic activity, we need to exercise um, either five times a week at moderate intensity for 30 minutes, or we need to exercise three times a week at vigorous intensity for 25 minutes. So what does that mean, moderate intensity versus vigorous intensity? Uh, well, moderate intensity, the easiest way to think about moderate intensity would be while you're exercising, you should be able to, if you're exercising at a moderate in intensity level, you should be able to hold a conversation but you shouldn't be able to sing. Um, if you're exercising at a vigorous intensity, uh, you won't even be able to talk. Um, it'll be hard to catch your breath if you try to talk. So that's the easiest way to tell if you're exercising at a moderate intensity or vigorous intensity. So again, moderate intensity, um, you can hold a conversation, but you cannot sing. Uh, vigorous intensity, you can't even hold a conversation. So that's the aerobic component. We then need to add the strength component into this. So according to the ACSM, you want to strength train at least two to three times per week. You want to strength train all major muscle groups. There isn't really a total time commitment uh, to that, but what you want to do is you want to exercise at about two sets of about 10 to 12 repetitions each. Now, if you're a beginner, you want to make sure that you work out at about 40 to 50% of what you can maximally do. So if a particular exercise, you know you can maximally lift 50 pounds, you want to start your exercise at about 25 pounds. And then work your way up to, as you become more experienced, to about 80% of your max. We then need to add in the mobility or flexibility piece. 
Um, and that's kind of your stretching. Now, what I personally would recommend is that you only stretch your lower body, you know, your hamstrings, your quadriceps, your hip flexors. And when you stretch, it's really dependent upon your age. If you want to lengthen a tissue uh, and you're over 50 years of age, you need to hold that stretch for 60 seconds. If you're under 50 years of age, you can hold it for 30 seconds and see uh, some changes. The final component is we add the balance piece into that. There's some really great um, classes out. You can do yoga, you can do what's called Tai Chi, but you want to add some balance of, you know, about two to three times uh, per week. Or you could just do some single leg stance on a daily basis for about five minutes. Now the, the, the last thing is a lot of people ask me, but I'm in pain and exercise hurts. If that's the case, contact me. I'll be happy to work with you and develop a nice exercise program to help with your pain and to make sure that it's a safe way uh, for you to exercise. And again, exercise is good for you. We all need to do it. Please call me if you have any questions, 218-346-2464. Thank you for watching Wellness for Life. Brought to you by Purim Physical Therapy, Gothenburg Chiropractic Clinic, and Mojave Ottawa Community Action Partnership.